Hello and welcome to week two of the PGBL. I am Sweet Banana Gaming, your coach of your Orlando Solgaleo, along here with Selby, our assistant coach, here to hopefully stop me from making any dumb plays this time around. Really quick as I'm deciding my team here, uh, I'm going to show you, I didn't make any drastic changes, you can see below, my team is exactly the same as what I said it would be, so no last minute freak out changes. Um, I will I will say I did manage to get my hands on a Landorus that has superpower. Um, let me let me show you real quick. I got myself a Landorus that has superpower. Right there. Uh, thank you, Soraka Hero, for your plethora of Landorus. Uh, I did. I'm making a substitution here. It's still a Bisharp, but we got uh, Kagero, our uh, defiant Bisharp, our lady Bisharp here, with poison jab, knockoff, iron head, and swords dance. Got the move that I want. Got defiant. Um, and the only other thing, well, you saw already, uh, Michelin has Roar, but basically all of our other members are the same members we already had in my box, but these two are newbies. They're doing, uh, making substitutions there. All right, so let me go ahead and select our team. Um, this should be an interesting battle. I've, I've been, I've been maybe a little bit over preparing for this, uh, cause it all depends on who, on, on who Randy brings. We're here taking on, I should have mentioned that earlier, I guess. We're taking on Randy of the Texas Rangers. So, all right, here we go. Who'd he bring? I'm gonna write this down. Uh, let's see, any surprises for us? Um, the Magirna is the only potential surprise. Let's see, he's got the Pinsir. Uh, who didn't he bring that I'm spraying? He didn't bring the Jirachi. Um... Once again, not bringing a rock setter. He didn't bring the Zubstrike. I'm kind of happy about that, although I might have been overly worried about it, to be honest. Uh, got the Tapu Fini, of course. Um, who's his rock setter then? Magirna, maybe? Maybe Magirna. Um, Delmise. And Hydreigon. All right. So... Basically, I'm either gonna lead- I either wanna lead Donphan or Charizard here. Uh, looking at who he's got... I think I wanna lead with the Charizard. The only thing that scares me a little bit is the Conkeldur. Um, I'll be in trouble if he brings the Conkeldur. First. But I'm gonna lead Charizard. I'm gonna hope he leads with Magirna. Just Heat Wave the Living Daylights out of him. I- I don't know. I'm assuming the Magirna is a Rock Setter. But I'm not leading with Donphan just because he's got his spin blocker in the Delmise. So he's got his two hazard, um, and Delmise can wrap it in. So he's got two hazard removers. I only have one hazard remover, but I did not see a rock setter. I, well, no, I keep saying Magirna. Um, I don't know if Delmise sets rocks. I guess I should have checked that out. But we're starting things off real here. And he leads with the Tapu Fini. So I'm okay with that. Probably trying to just cancel out my rocks right, right at the get-go. Um, let me see. I'm gonna damage Calc right out, right at the gate here. Quickly. I think, cause I have, I have decent, uh, I have decent special defense, actually, on Mega Charizard Y. So let me see if he's got, if he's got a, I'm gonna assume a defensive Tapu Fini, and I'm gonna go Surf. How much would a Surf do? A Surf in the Sun, only doing like 32% if it's defensive. So I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna hit Solar Beam just in case he stays in. He doesn't have the Substrika. I'm just gonna go right out the gate. Gonna withdraw, okay. I guess I could have gone for a Heat Wave and been uh, real. Or I could have gone, what I should have done really is gone for the Dragon Pulse, but that would have been stupid in case he did stay in. I guess the middle ground play would have been a Heat Wave. But okay, what's he got here? What's he got on his Hydreigon? All right, let's see. Tapu Fini didn't see anything yet. And then Hydreigon. Okay, so we get some good chip damage off on it. All right, let me go move into Hydreigon. What could Hydreigon have? Um, Hydreigon, let's say he's no. If he's not choiced, actually, if he's not choiced, then uh, I outspeed, but I might assume he's choiced. What could he have? What could he have? Hidden power? Actually, what does Draco Meteor do to me? Draco Meteor almost KOs me. Uh, I think I need... 
Hmm. Everything's at full health, though. I think I go and just fire off. I can, because I can KO it with the Dragon Pulse. That would be huge. Uh, let me think, though. I've got, I've got a minute. All right. Uh, what if he has Hidden Power Rock? Hidden Power Rock. Hidden Power Rock Oko's me. Does he have in Hidden Power Rock? Oh, this could cost me the whole game. What are the odds he brought Hidden Power Rock, though? I think he's gonna think I switched out. All right. This could be huge. If I lose the Charizard, this is gonna be huge. Stone Edge. And I, it misses. Oh my gosh. I am so... That was so... I was almost stupid. All right. Well, the Hydreigon is gone, and that is really good news for me. Oh my gosh. I... <laughs> I was so close to a complete and total disaster, Celebi. I was so close. I, I wasn't expecting. I should have expect. I should have expected. I guess that coverage because I don't think he needed any attack investment to take me out. That is huge. I'm. I'm kind of sorry. I'm sorry that it missed. I know that's. That's. Uh, it's a shame. Okay, so he's probably gonna go the Stone Edge on the protein here. I think. I have to stay calm here. Do I want to get my rocks up? Let me let me bring out let me calc for Dawn fan here. Man, that is so huge, but I don't want to I can't get cocky. I know that uh, Randy can do some come from behind wins here. Let's go the Conkelder. Um he ran a salt vest last time. So let me see what a if he has let me let me go worst case scenario. Does he have ice punch? With Iron Fist. Let's go Iron Fist. Ice Punch. Not even a two shot. So I say now I go in and get my rocks up. I think that's the safest bet. I wanna go I wanted to go into the uh, Landorus and intimidate him. But now might be a good time. There's the Thunder Punch. Okay, I'm reading him. Alright, so I don't have to I shouldn't have to worry about anything too bad here. So I'm just gonna go and set my rocks. If he brings in Tapu Fini, then I have a uh, preparation for that. I'm gonna go Stealth Rock. There's the Ice Punch. Okay, it should only do like 40, well, it depends on what his set is. Yeah, that looks like an Iron Fist. Okay. Now here's where I can again get real. I'm gonna, I think I hit Roar. I think I hit Roar. Because I'm in an advantageous situation. I'm going to live... I'm going to live another Ice Punch, barring a dreaded you-know-what crit. I think I just roar and start getting things rock damage. I don't need to preserve... Oh, let's see, i got to cross Hydreigon off the list. Whoop. I don't think I need to preserve for anything else. So if he switches, I'll swap out something else. So we'll have two things to take rock damage. Yeah, I think I'm going to roar. There's the knockoff. Getting rid of our leftovers recovery. That's not ideal, but I'm gonna roar. See who gets sent out. There's the pincer. Gonna take some damage. I'm good with this. So here's where I go in. Here's where I go in, because I can't hit this thing if he decides to stay in a Mega Evolve. Here's where I go in with the Landorus. Get him minus one. Yeah, I think I have I have the, I have the momentum here. I got to keep the pressure on. Also, if he switches out, I intimidate something for free. If it's disadvantageous, I just you turn out of there. I think I'm I'm in a decent situation here. Let's see. Got MVP the Pincer. We'll see if you live up to that name, Pincer. Oh man, I got this adrenaline going. I try to stay calm and play with my head, but like things are going well so far. I'm not going to complain, but I have to keep. I have to keep calm. He's gonna take his time thinking about that, okay. All right, so I get a pivot here. I get a pivot. All right. He's gonna wanna defog. More than likely. I should be faster than that. I don't see, I don't see a scenario in which I'm not faster. I haven't gotten to see anybody's, oh no, I got to see, um, Let's see. Knock off on the Kunkelder. Knock off. 
knock off a thunder punch and ice punch. We got the Conkelder with iron, uh, I'm assuming with iron fist. All right. All right, so I think my best play, my safest play here um, is to just U-turn and U-turn into Bisharp. I feel like he's gonna wanna get rid of those rocks if he wants to bring Pinsir back. I don't think he has a choice. So let's go Kagero. Let's see if this lady can do in, do the work like I'm I'm hoping. Moonblast, ah, I, I had a feeling. Oh my gosh, a crit. All right, well, I had a feeling that that was coming, and honestly, that makes up for the missed Stone Edge. Um, you got me good there. You got me good there. Now, the, the fortunate thing is, I don't think I needed Kagero for anything else. Well, no, that's not entirely true. The Conkelder could still do some work. So that was good um, on his part. So he's free to defog away. But I can put some good solar beam damage onto this thing. He's still got the Magirna. Man, that was, all right. But we're, we're, we, we traded off hacks for hacks. Well, yeah, hacks for hacks. So it's fair. Um, all right, I'm just gonna solar beam. I feel like he wants to stay in and defog, otherwise I just get damage on everything. I, I outspeed everything that he has left. Aside from the pincer with priority, um, but I just need to breathe fire on it and it will go away. So this is this should be a two shot. And from this range, a little better than a two shot. Or it's gonna take it out. All right. Well, the top of is down. That is good. I'm happy because now rocks are up for good. Uh, so he got my Bisharp, which is good on his part. But then he kind of paid the price where now he does not uh, have a way to get rid of rocks. Now the question I have is, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? If I intimidate him... All right, all right. Let me think this through. He's got Magirna, Delmize, Mega Pinsir. Delmize, Charizard should be okay with. Um, and I, I have that superpower, so I don't have knockoff on my... Um, on my... Uh, thing on my Landris. So if, if I intimidate him minus one attack and he goes for that ice punch. Let's see. Does that one shot me? It should be enough to one shot me actually. Uh, the best it does is 95.1 at minus one. Barring the dreaded crit. All right, so he's got those guys. I've, I don't want to send in the Espeon because a knockoff destroys me from here. Pretty sure. I could go Paul. I could go Paul. No, he has Thunder Punch though. I mean, I should be able to take it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk the biscuit a little bit here. Well, it's not. Nothing is as big of a risk as me staying in on Stone Edge Hydreigon. Holy cow! Oh, I dodged a bullet there. All right, but it's not over yet. I just can't get over that that luck. All right, did he go with the Ice Punch? He went the Thunder Punch. All right, so I got some hand here. The thing is that, uh, the thing is, I think I'm gonna U-turn because I don't really have anything that's gonna do a huge amount to it, and I am scarfed. Now, he doesn't have any uh, of his levitators left. Um, who would I go into, though, in case he doesn't switch out? I might go into Paul just to take a hit. I think I need to... It could be risky, but I need to scout out, see what he does. He's gonna withdraw, okay. So I get some swish initiative here. Swish initiative. I get switch initiative here. All right, I'm cool with this. All right, let's see what we got on Delmize here. We're gonna do neutral damage, a lot though. A lot here. All right, I think I go into Charizard. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Let's see. I think that's my best choice. Wait, let me make sure before I do that for sure. I, let me, let me, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm trying not to take anything for granted. I'm in a good situation, but I could always lose that good situation. All right, let me check if a flamethrower is enough. 
Come on. Come on, hurry up. Flamethrower looks like more than enough, especially at this range, but even at full. So I just hit Flamethrower. Three of his four remaining mons are weak to fire. Yeah, I got that right. Three of his four remaining mons. So I have no reason not to hit Flamethrower. Alright, so he stays in. Okay. So there's the Delmize now down. Again, we're sitting pretty good. But I'm not gonna take anything for granted. Alright, MVP of the pincer. He's gonna go he's gotta go quick attack, right? No wait, he outspeeds me by a little bit. So I need to calc this out. I need to calc this out. He can't stay in in Swords Dance, that's the good thing. A return can take me out. A return can take me out, and he's got just slightly higher base speed than me. Um, actually, no, I have no reason uh, not to switch to Landris. I have no reason not to switch to Landris. He's gonna be at minus one, I don't think he can risk Swords Dancing. I'm gonna, he's gonna be at minus one, and a quick attack will only do, well, a return, um, what does return do? Return to Landorus. Return to Landorus at minus one. No, not defense. At minus one attack. Return at most does 46. So yeah, I, I that's a safe bet. That's a safe bet. All I have to do is rock it. Oh wait, he's gonna have hyper cutter. So never mind. So never mind. Never mind. He's gonna be plus zero. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. The intimidate only works if he's already mega evolved. I mean, he could have been running a moxie pincer, but he really wouldn't have had a big reason to. So he went for the return. I'm scarfed. Oh no. Oh no, that was a lot worse than I was expecting. Alright, so all he has to do is quick attack now. That is a problem. That is a problem. He may have just won this back. He may have just won this back. Do I preserve? Um, do I need Michelin? Really, Michelin is not going to help me against the Magirna anymore? I think I sack off Michelin. Alright, he's evening things out real quick here. I mean, there is a chance. Well, I can intimidate again. I can intimidate again now, actually. All right, the quick attack doesn't take me out. Actually, oh no, I'm gonna, well, in case he gets zesty and decides to, to Swords Dance, I'm gonna go down here, but if he gets zesty and decides to Sword Dance, I'm roaring him out. All right, there's the return. Whoop. Sorry about that. Okay, the Dawn Fan is down. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go uh, Landris and get the return off. Let's see, who does he have left? Okay, Kinkelder, I can still save Espeon for the Kinkelder. Otherwise, Espeon's not gonna be putting in a whole lot of work. The only thing is now I only have the Charizard for the Magirna. All right, gonna Intimidate here. Do I bother staying in? I have to use this wisely. I'm gonna try something. I am going to try something. Let's see. Ah, he went for it! He went for it. Dang. Okay. Alright, that was my bad. Gotta go back and intimidate it again. All he has to do is Swords Dance again, though. He got this one. He got this one. I got- I got greedy. I got greedy. I could've- I could have rock slide. Could have gone rock slide. Dang it. He. Yeah, I, I got. I got a little uppity there. So now he's plus one. Let me check my Espeon here. Let me check my Espeon here. Quick attack is not enough to KO me. 
I have to go Espeon. 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 Quick Attack should not- should not be enough to KO me. Unless he gets the you-know-what. Alright, come on, Espeon. Come on, Espeon. Live. Live. Alright, we take that. Okay, the pincer is down. Our troubles are not nearly over, though. Our troubles are not over yet. The good news is, the Magirna is going to take rock damage coming out. Let me check Magirna's speed. Um, might be a Salt Vest. I have to keep that in mind. So if it's Salt Vest, um, it's not very fast. I think I sack... Let me go to Charizard here. I'm getting too excited. I made... Uh, that was a scary thing there. <sighs> could have been better. He could have not had him plus one. Oh well. Alright. Let's try this Charizard here. Let's see what Flamethrower will do. Flamethrower. Alright. How about Heat Wave, actually? Flamethrower might not be enough. Alright, Heat Wave is closer. Alright, I think I have to go Paul and then go Heat Wave because I absolutely need Espeon for the Conkelder. I absolutely, it's a win con there. The Mega Pincer is down. Already by default, this will be a closer match even if I don't win. It's gonna go Shift Gear. That, I don't remember what it does. Oh, the speed. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna. That's gonna, that's gonna do it right, right there. And the paralysis to top it off. I mean, I'm already slow enough. All right, come on, Paul, get some scald damage off. I had an air balloon. I didn't notice that before. All right, so we saw shift gear, thunderbolt. I didn't even write down this whole set. All right, so based on how much that did, let me see. Slowbro, defensive, 50, Scald. All right, so this thing can't be Assault Vest. All right, Paul, I'm gonna have you stay in. It's gonna get this, it's gonna get the Soul Heart boost though. That's the unfortunate thing. Now, with Shift Gear, you probably have speed investment, don't you? All right, you're at double speed. I think, I think Espeon can take you though. I think, I think, I think, I think. 50, um, Shadow Ball. If you have, if you're not Assault Vest, let's just put, oh, you had Air Balloon, right? I know you're not Assault Vest, what am I saying? This Magirna is probably gonna win it for him. All right, come on, Espeon. You gotta be faster. You've gotta be faster. Shadow Ball, I think, is my best bet. Psychic, yeah, let me look at Psy Shock here. Psy Shock. Yeah, all right, it's gotta be Shadow Ball. It's gotta be Shadow Ball. Come on, Espeon, be faster. All right, you're not gonna take it out, though. Uh, oh, it was a crit. Oh, you did your best, Espeon. You did your best. Uh, and he's going to be plus two now. That's going to be the game. Even if I take him out, he's even if I take out Magirna, he's got the Conkelder. Oh, man. Man, oh, man, that shift gear. I guess I could have studied Magirna a bit better. Man, Helios... We got so close. We got so close. Ah, uh, this guy, he comes from behind. Yeah, go ahead and one-shot me here. Ah, uh, man. Man! 
that shift gear, well, you know, it might have been better if I if I hadn't let the pincer get that swords dance off. I recovered, but whew. Oh, that was a rush. You know what? I'm sad because I feel like I took a lead and I kind of squandered it. But that was a good match. I, I played my heart out. I made a couple of little mistakes. But you know what? I, I think I played well this time. I, I could have prepared better for the Magirna. I might have underestimated it a little bit. I should have just swapped in. When he went for that shift gear, maybe I... Yeah. I was a little nervous not knowing how to handle the Magirna. That is pretty much all I can say. But man, what a rush. Alright, I'm sad we had to take another L. Let's take another loss here. But man, oh man. I at least felt like I gave it a good fight this time. I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and leave a like. Share your support for the Orlando Sogaleo. Go ahead and check out Randy's side of the battle. He'll have it posted as well. Oh my gosh, my heart is still fluttering. Ah. Uh, anyway, guys. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with more. Um, hopefully we can get a win next week. Who do we have next week? Let me pull out my phone here real quick. Let me pull out my phone here real quick and see who we have next. I'm going to start prep for next week already. Okay, but man, this was so hard fought. Uh, next we have the New York Grumpigs. So the time will come now to research that team. Holy cow, what a game. All right, guys, I need to go and, and just recover now mentally for a few hours now thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you for next week week three of the pgbl your orlando sogaleo versus the new york grumpigs let's see if we can get a win this time orlando pride guys